And welcome folks, welcome to this year's retrospective video. Today I want to look back on the year that has passed, or is about to pass, depending on when you're going to watch this. Um, I want to reflect a bit on the development of my channel and I want to give maybe a brief outlook on what's to come next, I mean next year. And of course, we are again going to play a special game for this special occasion. We are going to play Frontier First Encounter. A game you might not have heard of, but you have probably heard of its successor, Elite Dangerous. This game is part of a series, the Elite series, which goes back all the way to the 80s. So this is about 31 years now. Um, this game was released in 1995, it is the third installment of the set series. And it is a very interesting game, not only does it feature, I think, a very nice soundtrack, um, rather nice music, because most of its uh, music is not original, but still it's um, quite good in my opinion. Um, it also has some amazing graphics for a game that came out in 1995. Um, and it is very, a very unique game. It has some unique gameplay. Because this game is um, not a silly space shooter as you might expect. Rather it is a mixture between a role playing game and a space simulation. Now, what uh, exactly does it simulate? It simulates um, a spaceship, basically, in a solar system. So it does simulate, it actually simulates planets. Planets are um, not just things to look at. You can take on this um, airport, for instance, go um, into outer space, enter the atmosphere of another planet and land on an airport there. All of this without any cutscenes or any breaks in the simulation. So this is a very detailed simulation of, an, of a solar system. You can also do uh, jumps to other solar systems, of course, but then there's, um, there's basically a loading screen but of course, yeah, it's, in this game it's uh, it's a hyper jump or something like that. But anyway, but inside one solar system, there's there are absolutely absolutely no um, loading screens whatsoever. That's the I think the amazing thing about this game. And today today we're going to play this game while I mumble ineffectually about my channel. Um, the first thing you want to do, um, apart from maybe switching on the descriptions, the labels, you need to ask, you actually need to ask for permission to leave this airport before you can actually do that, otherwise you will get a fine. And you have, to, if you have too much um, fines, they will just refuse uh, to give you permission to land on airports and if you decide that you don't care about that, they are just going to shoot down your, uh, your aircraft. So let us uh, ask for permission. You see we got permission from old Black Elk Airport. Now we, we actually need to hurry up a bit to leave. Um, because if you don't evacuate the airport after you've given permission, you have been given permission um, yeah, to leave, they will get angry, and if you still not leave after they've given you um, some warnings, they will just shoot down your spacecraft. Yeah, um, and what what you can see here, um, apart from the atmosphere, which is sort of uh, a bit glitching out, you can see these uh, labels get gateway one. 2, 5 and 6. These are other planets in the solar system. We could just now 
yeah, visit those planets and um, land on airports on those planets. For now, we shall content ourselves actually to um, make a little trip on this planet here, the planet Hope. We shall visit um, Old Korea Airport. And you might have noticed that there are two cursors here on the screen. Big uh, crosshair and a little crosshair which is slowly following the big one. Now the big crosshair shows you where our spaceship is headed to, where it points to. The second crosshair shows you where it's flying to. So those of course do not have to um, be in alignment and you uh, when you play this game you have to bear in mind that it the spacecraft does not behave like a plane in a flight simulator because there, there is no atmosphere or at least um, your aircraft does not have any aerodynamics. So if you fly in one direction and you turn your spaceship, nothing happens of course, unless you turn on your rockets. And if you want to make a turn, um, it's going to take a while, especially if you are very fast. So it, this, this, this ship behaves rather differently than the airplane in a, a flight simulator. Um, but um, on the other hand, uh, it also... Uh, so it's very different, okay. Uh, now about, yeah, coming back to the year 2015 and talking about my channel, um, yeah, there, there haven't been really radical changes here, well, except maybe one change, but I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Um, but I've certainly increased in a number of different senses. Uh, let me just give you the bare numbers. I've almost precisely doubled the watch time compared to the last year, um, to, to 2014. I've also increased, or rather, the views, the number of views did increase by 80%. So I've got 14,473 views in the past year. Um, I'm very, I'm especially proud of the fact that 1,071 of those views, of those 40,000 views, were in fact subscriber views. So I'm very, I'm very happy that not only do people subscribe, but the more sub subscribers actually also watch my content. Um, that is. Um, reassuring. I've also gained 8 subscribers, which is a bit less than in 2014. And in this year I've uploaded, um, not including this video, 209 videos compared to 240 in 2014. Now that's less, of course, if you can do basic math, uh, or maybe not even that. And you can also tell that I didn't keep up my promise that I would upload one video every day. Um, the reason for this was uh, basically in the last two, three months, actually starting with September, so three months basically, I haven't been really able to keep up with my schedule for various reasons. Um, so yeah, it's a bit less than 265. But still, I did complete four Let's Plays, um, three of which I started actually this year. I've completed the Let's Play of Take No Prisoners, which was a very memorable game, uh, a game with a very unique experience. It was certainly not the best game I've ever played, but it was one of the most memorable ones. And I've, I really enjoyed doing this Let's Play. Um, I also very, very much enjoyed doing the Let's Play of Planet of Death, 
This was actually my favorite game, uh, my favorite Let's Play, probably, because this game was just so much fun, and it was surprising and deep. Um, I really just, I only expected this to be um, a nice atmospheric racing game, but I didn't know before that it actually also has some intricate story, and if you don't if you don't know that it has an intricate story, then please read the description of my video, videos, um, where I, uh, or rather watch them. Yeah, watch those videos and I'll, you will learn how they have a very awesome story. Um, also, this, this game was an interesting break from my usual schedule of doing an alternation of First person shooter and the point and click adventure game. Well, I still did play first person shooters and point and click adventure games, namely Wages of Sin, which was quite good. Um, I must actually say that Wages of Sin was objectively superior to the first game, just because it had so much more polish and full throttle, which I also very much enjoyed. Um, it was a bit short, which is not a bad thing, of course. And it had some some nice nice art style and also feeling to it. I've moreover started two more Let's Plays, a Let's Play of Fallout, a game which I still do quite enjoy. And I have to be careful not to crash into this mountain here. And The Dark Eye. Again, one of those games which are very unique, which are like none, like which are one of a kind in a sense, um, and which I very much look forward to to come back uh, playing it when I, once I got to get a, get the chance to um, yeah record my more videos too. My my normal schedule should resume, hopefully, in the beginning of January. January. I don't know. Hard work to pronounce. Uh, and last and least, yeah, I didn't complete, to my great shame, I have to admit, that I did not, was not able to complete Zelda A Link to the Past, even though I had one whole year to complete it, of course. Um, I've changed my pacing a bit. I've only, uh, I only intend to upload one video of this game a week. But what that, um, that are still 52 weeks in a year. Um, and obviously, I didn't, yeah, upload 52 videos this year of this game. Um, yeah, I just have, I have to admit that I, this. This style of gameplay isn't, isn't maybe, yeah, what I really enjoy. Um, yeah, well, this is so much for the games that I have played, which is obviously, obviously the main thing here on my channel. Um, the second main thing, why I actually continue to do what I'm doing, is that I'm are able to interact with you. You either as a viewer, a regular viewer, or even as a subscriber, or just some person who watches, randomly watches a video of mine and enjoys it. I really enjoy getting in touch with you. And this year, I was finally able to really do that thanks to joining Google+. Plus. Now, I didn't, of course, join Google Plus because I wanted to join Google Plus, but rather because I wanted to be able to use the YouTube comment system, which is, has been linked up with Google Plus. Um, it, Google Plus has been forced into YouTube, into the comment system, in order to, I guess, yeah, make people join Google Plus, which, of course, has worked in a sense, but on the other hand, it didn't, because people barely use it. Um, and my only reason for signing up with Google Plus was that I was finally able to answer your comments. 
Um, I was actually not. I was not physically able. Uh, I must. Uh, uh, some, uh, sorry. The music has glitched out. So. Okay. Yeah, I was finally able to um, to answer your comments. Um, and I, so the reason why I didn't join Google Plus before was that I was not technically able to. Um, there was a, a slight problem with, and I should, should also continue the simulation. Yeah. Um, so I. I was not able to join before, and now I did join, and that's great. Because, as I said, I finally got in touch with my viewers. I um, communicate with a number of uh, my subscribers. One or two which are actually kind of regularly giving comments. Um, I also got in touch with other YouTubers, for instance, the guy who did the second, uh, the other Let's Play of Techno Prisoners that you can find on YouTube. Um, then another guy whose name I actually forgot. Um, sorry if you are watching this, but you are probably not. In any case. And last but not least, I got in touch with Matt Ward, the creator of LiftSim, which was which was really amazing. Um, in case you don't know who in case you don't know who Matt Ward is or what LiftSim is, LiftSim is an elevator simulator. A really very detailed elevator simulator. Um, an awesome elevator simulator and if you have never heard of Liftsim, please go and watch my video, my one year anniversary video called Let's Play Liftsim, or even better, download Liftsim yourself and play it, because it's really amazing. So this guy, Matt Ward, who created this simulation at the age of, I think, nine or something like that, um, programmed in Quick Basic. So he contacted me because he saw my video and I was, I was really surprised and a bit embarrassed uh, and the most yeah, shocking thing for me was that he actually watched my video, he actually watched the whole 60 minutes and gave me detailed comments for every 2 or 3, uh, three or 4 minutes of that video or so. So that was quite unexpected. Um, yeah, so overall this year the most important change and one change I'm definitely very happy about, extremely happy about, is that I finally um, are able to interact with you. Yeah, um, apart from that, um, I do think that, or I would, I would hope, I do think that also the video of the, the quality of my videos did increase slightly over this past year. Not so much technically, because technically very, well, actually, um, very few things have changed. One thing that I learned that you can actually upload 60 frames per second videos. I learned that when I did my Plan Planet of Death Let's Play. Um, which is quite good to know. Uh, yeah, and we are slowly approaching Old Korea Airport. Um, not so. The change was not so much technically, but more on the personal side, or rather, on me as a human being, as a bio machine. I think I did learn um, to stay more focused. In each moment and to speak more coherently without so much pauses and um, yeah and M's for instance so in this sense um, I think there has been an improvement I do this hobby of course um, well 
maybe not of course, but I do it. Not only because it's fun, but also it's kind of, it's an exercise for me, or maybe even a sort of therapy. Because I'm not so much used to talking in front of an audience. Um, so I think I did um, learn a few things. I did improve. Um, and this brings me to the outlook of the next year. So of course, I do hope that I'm going to improve in the next year as well. And I do hope that I will continue to play video games and do Let's Plays next year. Um, if this is going to happen or not will, will be decided in the future. Um, so my, my very near future is a bit uncertain because things are about to change in my life. So I really don't know if there's going to be a next uh, in a, a, a New Year's retrospective video next year or whether my channel will just die a slow death. I hope not, um, but you never know. Um, I can maybe, yeah. Give you also a brief, well not really, out of, so I haven't really decided which games I'm going to play next year of course, and that would be silly to do, but one game which you might see is in fact this game, um, Frontier Plus Encounter, um, and oh, give me, a, give me a moment, and I'm back, uh, sorry for that short interruption there. Um, yeah, so about what you can expect next year. So this game, Elite, uh, Elite 3 or Frontier First Encounter as it's also known as, might be a possibility of game that you could see next year. Um, yeah, and I would like to bring your attention to this uh, very nice view flying over this mountain here. Okay, this is the mountain in case you didn't notice that. Okay, it's yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so this game might be a possibility. Um, I also very much would like to uh, do a let's play of System Shock 2. In the part from these two games that I just mentioned, in generally, in generally, um, I think there is going to be more variety on this channel, or rather, there is still going to be variety. So games like um, unique games like Take No Prisoners are, I think, things that are very appropriate for this channel and are just things that I generally enjoy doing. So more, more quirky, quirky, unique games like Take No Prisoners or The Dark Eye, The Dark Eye, sorry, are things that you um, can expect to see here. Um, in case you know any quirky or unique games that, yeah, um, in case you know any of any, uh, you can of course leave me a comment on this video and give some suggestions of what I should play. Um, but overall, I think things are going to pretty much stay like they are right now. Except that I hope to get better at what I'm doing and I also hope to um, continue to do what I'm doing. So with this, we're now getting, uh, slowly getting towards Old Korea Airport. Um, before we are going to land, please remind me that I retract the landing here. 
or rather, sorry, uh, extend the landing gear. Um, because last time I, re I recorded this video uh, for this game, the last time, so this is not the first take, of course, of this retrospective video, um, but on the previous take, I forgot to extend the landing gear and then I crashed and everyone died. So let's not do this. Um, uh, yeah, let us extract, not extract, extend the landing gear rather. I'm going to reduce the velocity. So I'm. So okay, you can't see anything. Um, but in the physical model of this group, and we're getting very close, the physical model of this, um, this spaceship. Um, yeah, you of course reduce velocity by flying into the other direction basically and we're getting very close. So close in fact that I'm um, not sure whether we are going to be able to land. Um, without flying over the airport. Um, but I think we should be fine. This is now the appropriate time to ask for landing permission. So we request landing clearance from all three traffic control. By the way, you're also, um, this is not a formality. Sometimes you just don't get clearance for like hours. Um, this can happen to you if they are and so this game not only simulates your spacecraft, it also simulates other spacecrafts which are happily flying throughout the galaxy. And if an airport is occupied, it's occupied. And then you are basically screwed. Especially if you are, uh, have to make a delivery on time. There are no... Um, yeah. You are just screwed. Um, I think I can now, or maybe. Uh, well, I can. I think it should shut down this uh, landing window. So, uh, an interesting thing to notice here is that, um, again, so this shows you where we are flying and this is shows you where we are uh, headed and I need to be very careful not to crash into this, this uh, surrounding buildings uh, which can happen quite easily um, yeah ob obviously there is gravity, gravity on this planet and if you are just flying straight ahead and if you are too slow actually if you are just flying straight ahead we will of course uh oops sorry that was that was too bit too slow you are obviously of course going to um just fall down um so when when you don't want to fall down you need always to have a positive And we did it. We actually landed successfully. Um, yeah, you need to have a positive velocity upwards, otherwise you would just go. Well, actually, that's not true. Um, because if you are if you're on a circular if you are on a circular orbit around the planet, you always have zero vertical velocity. So that's not true. What I just said, but okay, the point is, it's complicated to fly without atmosphere. Um, and it's I'm very glad that we actually managed to make a proper landing because um, not only have to land on the airport, you actually have to land on the landing bay, which is marked by this big letters there. And it's very it's very picky about 
whether you've actually hit um, the landing bay or not. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, and it simulates um, right sunrise and sunset. And depending on which solar system you're in, you can actually see two suns at the same time, which is quite cool. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much um, a short, a short impression of this game. Um, I might do a... And the, the music is annoying, so... Um, I might do a proper let's play of this game in the year that's about to come. For now I just want uh, to stop at this point at this point and I would like to thank everyone who supports me throughout the year. Um, this includes, of course, first of all, all the people who watched, just happened to stop by and watch one of my videos. No, we are not going to hear that music again. So, This includes, of course, all the people who uh, just happened to stumble upon one of my videos, you are also very much appreciated. But this thanks goes especially to my regular viewers, my subscribers, who, um, who supported me through comments and views and likes. Um, I, I wish you all the best for 2016 and I hope that we will meet ourselves again next year. So, of course, as always, um, I'm going to say until next time, folks. Um, till then.